Well, I don't think anybody is watching, but in case you are watching, you probably wondered why is this a double review thing. Well, first of all, I was away, I couldn't review it. Second of all, I'm actually starting to lose a little bit of energy in doing this. It is me, the Angry Enemy Fan, the Despair Reviewer, although I technically only review Eden Zero nowadays, but even though I, even that is a little bit exhausting. I forgot to review Eden Zero Chapter 185, and this is also 186, so I'm combining them both. First off, about 185, we still don't exactly find out if Siggy really did trick Elsie uh, in that moment, but we can all but assume that. And But she did get uh, sort of saved, thanks to, yeah, you guessed it, Justice. Okay, I have to admit, even I felt that was a little bit anticlimactic. Because the only reason he saved her is because, uh, I quote, I think, he is the only one who must destroy her. I mean... This creates a little bit uh, troublesome with Yes's character. I mean, I, I'm glad that he didn't decide to kill Elsie right there and there, because that actually shows he has somewhat of a common sense. But it also shows a stubbornness of the fact that only he can kill, is allowed to kill Elsie. So that means he may have saved Elsie from Siggy's attack, but he is not an ally, and it's very likely something else is gonna happen soon. That will endanger everything else. And then Siggy is brought up, says that he is not gonna chase after Elsie. Oh, it's worth noting though that uh, also that uh, Siggy actually used Maggie Mech attack here for the first time. He then orders um, God Agnuela to pursue them, but at first Agnuela refuses, saying that she's not a subordinate, she's a colleague. So Siggy changes the thing, the demand to a favor. And God Agnuela commits, but then also points out that if Siggy betrays her, then her children and her will destroy him. Hmm. Well, I have a feeling he will destroy her. After all, this Siggy is such a coward. Back to the crew, though, is the fact that uh, uh, while uh, while the rest of the Eden Zero is preparing to fight off against Dead and Crow, as well as Holy's past not yet revealed, the downright crew members have switched back to their outfits, which is actually the same outfits they had before, and uh, end up in a coliseum where they are being met by none other than the four dark stars. And so the chapter of 85 and somewhat around there. 86 then comes into the fact that we do have a cute sh chapter so it's that where Michael tried to trick Shiki in under learning of it all. As, uh, as the heroes of Eden stands before the villains of Eden and the four dark stars, Pino resonates in chapter 186 that uh, that apparently that they surpass the shining stars, but uh, the crew, uh, but the heroes of Eden are determined to defeat them, seeing that they don't have hearts. However, the Dark Star says that uh, they have hearts because they fight for the good of mechanical life forms, but uh, the but the crew of Eden uh, says that that is merely a programming in Sigi's orders. The fact is that the Dark Star doesn't necessarily uh, deny that. They are still a wizard, the most serious of them all. Yes, proclaims that he, that we will destroy your flesh and set you free from the miseries of life. And so Killer yeah, activates uh, some kind of diagram and teleports everyone away, including Pino, which is actually kind of worrisome. Wise ends up in what actually almost looks like a destroyed hospital to the head of the horror scene where Killer appears, taking off his coat, actually revealing that uh, the big thick armor as well as the lines are very reminiscent of, the, of the, the old Killer. The only thing that is changing is, of course, his face. He proclaims himself to be the brains of Edens, which actually I had guessed given that I was analyzing. That means Killer is the brain of Eden. However, Wise is not intimidated. He just sarcastically call himself the Flame of Edens. Or maybe that really is his title, and because he can turn heavy artillery. Elsewhere, Rebecca ends up in what appears to be a circus area with 
with oh yeah with Pino and the happy both trapped in a cage where the Harlequin called Clown stands on a, a rope s proclaiming that the greatest show of hell begins. He actually does not proclaim who he is. Shiki, on the other hand, ends up what appears to be the kingdom of Granville together with all the other machine parts. The only one who has not been teleported away is Homura, who faces off against Brigadine, who proclaims that um, uh, he doesn't want to fight in an alternate dimension, seeing that apparently Killer can send them into alternate dimensions. Hmm. Why do I have a feeling like that can be something else when I'm thinking about it? Saying that uh, the... Uh, uh, and the Homer demands of uh, the bringing back. Brigade just points out there's nothing to bring back. They are here. We just cannot interact with them. So uh, Brigade proclaims that it's dislike those things and says that uh, uh, you human who has nonetheless become a four shining stars. I am a counterpart of Valkyrie, which I also had guessed. But he calls himself the Armor of Eden. So, uh, which uh, of course... Uh, Homura doesn't really like mostly because that almost seems like he is looking down on her. Or maybe Brigaine is acknowledging the fact that she has become a shiny star. As the battle, uh, we also see the battle raging on against um, Dead End Crow, who is revealed to have lasers in his eyes. He mocks the, the Eden Zero, who doesn't seem to be able to do any bing of dance of it all. But then. Uh, Holy is release releasing her in the battle gear, which is actually modeled after the Steel Sorceress. And then actually she drops a little bit of a hypocritical humor moment. And that is that she's saying that your battle suits, don't you think they're exposed in the chest area, which we see a big of her cleavage. And you know, do you know what that is so hypocritical humorous? This comes from a woman who who was wielding an extremely <laughs> revealing swimsuit, not to mention dresses that still exposes a cleavage. And she says that the Eden Zero has exposing cleaver battle suits. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fun. Uh, so either way, she is piloting uh, what appears to be a battle suit model after which... Hmm, now that's anything at all. Shiki looks at the dimension where he sees that... Uh, but uh, Shiki recognizes that this is not... Uh, that these are not uh, his friends of Granville. As he begins to tremble, that uh, he suddenly sees also a witch who says that... Uh, that... Uh, who hugs him saying that those silly human are your weaknesses. But the Shiki, despite trembling and almost point of crying, tries to hit the illusion of which who disappears to show Wizard, proclaiming uh, that this won't fool him. You have angered Shiki, that is not good. But uh, yeah, that shows the Wizard really have a sadistic side to himself, trying to play on the emotional part of Shiki to break him. Because we all do know that Shiki has a pretty weak emotional state. Or maybe that's the wrong word to say it. His emotional state isn't can be very dangerous for everything else. So this is a bit dangerous of it all. So yeah, the round is Wizard versus Shiki, Clown versus Rebecca, Brigadine versus Humara, and Killer versus Wise. Hmm. Now the bigger question though is can they win? I hope they do. But even if they do win, well I cheat I think. Shiki says he will set them free. But uh, I don't think the Dark Stars really are that, that thing, uh, that, that, that different. I mean, they proclaim they have hearts and they want to fight for the mechanical life forms. In a way I think they're actually right. I mean, the crew of Eden Zero says they are programmed to follow Shiki's order. So I think everyone is right. Yes, they are programmed to follow Sigi's order, but I think they genuinely believe that humans needs to be destroyed. So that is their heart. But uh, so they cannot be set free. They are programmed to be evil, and evil they will be. 
Still, can the crew win? Once again, I cannot help but get endgame vibes from all of this. Uh, it's a bit worrisome to me. So, how is come uh, is war for uh, sorry, piloting a weapon that is modeled after which that is a bit emotional in itself. And so far, the Eden Zero cannot scratch Dead and Crow, huh? That is worrisome, also. So, yeah, I mean, last chapter wasn't really that this great. This set up the spare. Well, let's see who can win who. Give me a false if you have any. <clears throat> 